Well, hey guys, welcome back to the shop. It's uh, it's Saturday night. We're in the shop, obviously. Uh, it's a little echoey in here. I do have my um, mic on here to try to make it not so echoey, but I just thought I would do a little video update on the 23 Bronco here. Uh, if you watch the video on the transfer case deal, you know the whole story behind it. Also story, actually. I'm going to correct some of that story. Uh, if you do not, if you're not familiar with the original video, um, quick catch you up to speed here. 23 Bronco, uh, two door, 2.3 automatic. This is a builder. It was, uh, I bought this. My daughter bought this. Let me make that clear. I didn't buy it. It's her truck. Uh, we bought this truck out of insurance auto auctions over in, uh, Metro DC area. We had it shipped over here to Wisconsin. Um, it was wrecked in the front, like I said, and it also had transfer case issues, uh, lots of noises, it didn't work, it wouldn't drive, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so after we got the front end fixed, we hauled it up to the dealership for some services, and while it was there, I had them troubleshoot and see what their thoughts were on the transfer case. So a few, day, a few days later, we got the truck back from the dealership, and, uh, you know, they agreed with me that the transfer case was burned up and it was junk. It, uh, the truck had 6,800 miles on it and it was junk. So I thought I'm going to do a video on pulling it apart and rebuilding it. And, uh, and I did. And if you watch the video, you know where we're at. Um, in that video, I made a few statements about the original owner. I believe her name was Michelle that, uh, I thought it was one car accident. Um, I thought she had it in sport mode. After that video aired, uh, I was in contact with Michelle, or a friend of hers, and it was a two-car accident. Uh, she was not in sport mode, but she did verify that it was in four auto, <clears throat> which at the end of the day is where I was leading to anyways. And she did also verify that when this truck left the scene of the accident, it left on the back of a tow truck. Yeah, not on a not on a flatbed, but left on the back of the tow truck. So the back tires were on the ground. So that whole theory of the the automatic clutches inside the transfer case engaging while the vehicle was being towed is, uh, for the most part, it's true. And at the end of the day, that's what burnt the transfer case up in this truck at 6,800 miles. Um, I know. I mean, this video. The video on the transfer case had 154,000 views and it had like 850 comments or something like that. And out of those 850 comments, probably about 820 of them were uh, the Jeep guys and the Toyota guys and just the anti-Ford guys all together. I mean, you, uh, you had a lot to say, but it's great though because I mean, YouTube I mean, that's what YouTube wants. They, they want interaction through the comment section. Um, and you guys did. You, I was completely surprised how many comments that video got. Um, I, a lot of arguing, uh, a lot of me arguing with you guys. But at the end of the day, it's all fun. I mean, you guys are Ford haters. I get it. Uh, I'm not. I'm a Ford guy myself. I don't have a problem with Toyotas. I don't have a problem with Jeeps. You know, at the end of the day, we're all... Just wheeling and having fun, right? Well, not this one. This thing's a mall crawler. But anyways, so we pulled the oil, drained the oil out of the engine, blah, blah, blah. And while I was in there tonight, I uh, pulled the plug on the transfer case and drained the oil out of that. I just wanted to see how it was doing. And you know, I'm happy to say it. It's, uh, I mean, it looks fine. It had, uh, it had a little discoloration to it, which I expected, just residual oil from when we rebuilt it. But... Um, you know, it was still plenty red. It had just a little, it was a little darker than, than brand new oil. And that's all I can, best I can describe it, I guess. So we drained it, put in two fresh quarts of LV, uh, Motorcraft oil in it. So it's good to go. Other than that, I mean, the truck's great. It's, uh, it's just another builder. Everything I own is builders for the most part. So it's just another builder. She's going to wheel this thing, drive it. She won't really wheel it. It won't, it ain't going to see much off-roading, but. It's a mall crawler. But anyways, hope you uh, enjoyed this little segment, I guess, on this Bronco. And, you know, if you want to watch the full rebuild, I have a lot of videos on rebuilding the front end. 
Uh, we also have a full MTX audio upgrade video on it that we did, uh, which is unbelievable difference between that stock six speaker junk stereo and you know the MTX stuff. But yeah, so if you like those videos or if you want to come back and watch a video on this this 79 Bronco we're going to be starting on here, hopefully next week. It's going to get a complete paint job. We're not going to put it together. It'll go back to the customer for that. But anyways, if you like those kind of videos, hit the old like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And leave some comments. That was, uh, that was fun last time arguing with you guys. Uh, I actually did meet a couple of nice people through those comment sections, though. I uh, ran into another gentleman that's having the same issue with his. Uh, it's a builder. Same, same story. It's doing the same thing. And so he's going to... He ordered the clutch packs for his, and I think he's going to get it rebuilt. So, curious to see how, how his turns out. If you're watching the video, comment on that. I want to know how you're doing if you're getting it, getting that problem, if it takes care of your problem like it did ours. So, anyways, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.